This is part 1 of Angular CRUD tutorial. In this video and in our upcoming videos in this series, we will discuss performing all the CRUD operations in Angular that is creating, reading, updating and deleting with simple examples. Now setting up a new project from scratch is a tedious and time consuming process. However, Angular CLI makes it super fast and easy. With Angular development, we write the same boilerplate code to create components, pipes, services, directives, etc. Manually creating these consumes a lot of time. Angular CLI can generate these with lightning speed while still following Angular's best practices and conventions. So basic knowledge of Angular CLI is definitely helpful. Here are the prerequisites for this course. Basic knowledge of Angular CLI, Angular 2, and Bootstrap. We'll be using Bootstrap for styles in our application. If you're new to these, please check out our courses. I'll include the links for these courses in the description of this video. Now let's install the tools required. We need Node. So download and install the latest version of Node from this URL right here. I've already installed it on my machine. As of this recording, the latest version is 8.9.2 and that's what I have on my machine. Next, let's install the latest version of Angular CLI. To install Angular CLI, execute this command npm install hyphen g at angular forward slash CLI. This flag right here hyphen g installs Angular CLI globally on our machine. Now when you execute this command from the command prompt, make sure you're running command prompt as an administrator. I've already installed Angular CLI on my machine and as of this recording, the latest version of Angular CLI is 1.6.0 and that's what I have on my machine. To verify the version of Angular CLI you have, execute this command ng-v. ng stands for Angular CLI itself. As you can see, the version I have is 1.6.0, the latest version of Angular CLI as of this recording. We will be using Visual Studio Code as the editor for this course. If you don't have Visual Studio Code already installed on your machine, download and install the latest version from this URL right here. Another common question that you might get is, which version of Angular are we using with this course? As of this recording, the latest version is Angular 5 and that's what we'll be using with this course. But the concepts that we are going to discuss as part of this course, we can apply them to Angular 2 and any version after that. Once you have all these required tools installed, let's generate a new Angular project using the Angular CLI. To generate a new project, we use this command ng which stands for Angular CLI itself, new because we want to generate a new Angular project and then we specify the name of the project. We want our project to be named Angular CRUD. And then we don't want test files to be generated for our components. So I'm going to set this option skip dash tests to true. We'll discuss testing components in a later video. For now, let's not generate the test files for our components. And then once we press the enter key, this is going to create a new Angular project with this name Angular CRUD. I've already executed this command, so I'm not going to execute this again. After the project is successfully created, change into the directory that contains your project by executing this command. Here, Angular CRUD is the folder which contains our project. As you can see, I am already within the Angular CRUD folder. I created this project directly within C drive, so at the moment, I am already in the project folder. While you are in the project folder, execute this command code space dot. This is going to open our project using Visual Studio Code. Now, if you look at this package.json file, notice under dependencies, we can see that we are using Angular version 5, the latest version as of this recording. If you look at our project folder, Angular CRUD, it contains several other folders and all these files. Now, if you're new to the folder structure, what these files are and what they contain, we already discussed all that in detail in Angular CLI tutorial. So please check our Angular CLI tutorial. I'll have the link available for that course in the description of this video. 
There is one more thing left to install and that is Bootstrap. We'll be using Bootstrap for styles within our application. So let's go back to the command prompt and execute this command. npm install bootstrap at 3 dash dash save. There we go. Bootstrap is successfully installed. It's installed in the node modules folder. For us to be able to use Bootstrap, we'll have to include a reference for the Bootstrap style sheet within the Angular CLI configuration file. Now the Angular CLI configuration file is this one, .angular-cli.json. So navigate to the styles section right here and include the reference to the Bootstrap style sheet. This Bootstrap style sheet is in the node modules folder and that's the path to the bootstrap.min.css file. So we have to include a reference to that style sheet for us to be able to use Bootstrap. So at this point we have installed all the required tools. We have also created a brand new Angular project. Let's run this project to make sure it actually works. The source code for this project is present in this SRC folder. Inside that folder, we have the app folder and inside that folder, we have our root component. If everything works as expected, we should see this root components view template in the browser. To run our Angular project, we need to execute this simple command ngserve dash o. This is going to build and launch our application in the default browser. There we go. We have our application launched in the browser as expected. Here is what we want to do in our next video. We want to retrieve and display employee details along with a photo as you can see right here. So within a panel, in the panel header, we want to display the employee name, their photo right here and then the rest of the employee details like gender, date of birth, contact preference, etc. So in our next video, we'll discuss how to perform the read operation. And in the videos after that, we'll discuss the rest of the CRUD operations, that is creating, updating and deleting employees. So please stay tuned. Thank you for listening and have a great day.